Hello everyone, my name is Protasilaos, also known as Prot. I am standing right in front of the solar panels here at the hut and I just want to provide you with a status update on the hut project, what I am doing here. Today it's a sunny day after several days of rainfall, we also had snowfall as well. Uh, and I took this opportunity uh, to go and bring from far away from here a Greek strawberry tree. I will tell you the story about this, but let me show you what this is about and then we uh, continue. You can see over here the work I just did and this is it, the Greek strawberry tree with uh, the peak of Olympus in uh, the distance. The Greek strawberry tree is uh, famed for it's a red bark and evergreen leaves. Their greens are always green. They are literally evergreen. It's not just that it always has leaves. It always has green leaves. And uh, I think this looks beautiful. This is uh, the third uh, Greek strawberry tree of my hut. And uh, you may wonder which is the second because I haven't done a video about it. But I will provide a hint and then I will go show you. And the hint lies in these. Let's see over here. So when I planted this tree, I pruned it a little bit and I removed some of these branches. And uh, of course, you have to prune the tree to give it uh, the strength it needs to uh, continue growing and to uh, develop roots uh, on this new soil. Uh, when you cut these uh, branches, what you can do is you can uh, scratch them. If you see here, peel off the bark, uh, peel off the flesh basically. And then you can plant this in the ground and this little thing will develop roots and eventually it will become a tree. So this is known as uh, grafting, I believe in English. This is the word that is used. And uh, what I did when I planted the first Greek strawberry tree, which I, which I did, uh, I think, on the 16th of uh, October, uh, what I did was to uh, cut off several of these, uh, prune the tree, and then realize that I could actually make grafts out of them. Uh, but I realized it too late, so there was only one graft I could make. Uh, let me then move towards the second Greek strawberry tree to show you. Here I am, by the way, uh, right uh, where I was uh, clearing the land uh, yesterday, uh, in a video I did yesterday, uh, you may have uh, watched it already, where I was clearing this spot from overgrown vegetation. It's not done yet, of course, uh, but uh, yeah, let me go down here and uh, we will see it in action. This uh, third Greek strawberry tree, by the way, uh, I took it from a place uh, near the cliff of Ira. Ira, the Greek goddess, uh, of course, uh, and uh, opposite uh, that uh, cliff, uh, there was uh, this uh, uh, Greek strawberry tree, but it wasn't uh, one trunk, it was two trunks, two trunks sharing a single uh, root system. So I called it the two-headed Greek strawberry tree. And what I basically did was to carefully uh, take uh, one of the heads, one of the trunks and plant it here. The other one, I left it there and I took good care of it. Anyhow, here is what you see right here, the second Greek strawberry tree. I planted this here, um, I think two days after I planted the first one. So I saw the, I saw the potential with the uh, branches that I had pruned and I was like, hey, I should uh, try this. And I tried it and uh, here it is. You can see the old ones. I left them here for comparison. I did it originally so that I would be able to compare this with this. And uh, what we can observe is that, of course, this uh, has a dark brown uh, leaves and also the bark is uh, brown, you know, almost, uh, you know, it, t it turns brown, brown purple like that and here what we can see is that of course it is more vivid we can see there are uh, green leaves and we can also see maybe it's not clear in the camera but we can see that these branches over here have a reddish a red tint a uh, red uh, color rather to them uh, we can see it it's red magenta depending on 
the sunlight this looks like magenta for example but this is a thing of beauty and uh, the more important thing which i have been observing on a daily basis let's uh, use this leaf as a case in point you will notice that this leaf is a combination of green and brown but it used to be brown and the green is the part that is flowing into the brown think of it that way so energy vitality is coming from the branch and flows into the tree into the leaf and we can see it in other places as well we can even see it on something like this over here where we can spot the green flowing into this uh, brown leaf in other words this thing is alive and is doing excellently it is very well and what i did by the way is to cut off this uh, part so that it uh, expands and not just grows uh, towards the top so this is it folks the three greek strawberry trees uh, the second one is a graft of the first one the third one is from the cliff of Ira, and i will be grafting many more of them let me switch then to my camera uh, to salute you that's all thank you very much for your attention folks uh, take care for now and uh, goodbye.